Let me guess. Hey, come on, baby. You can't pussy foot up in there. You gotta run it. You gotta run it. Yeah, you mine. You mine, baby. Yeah! Yeah! I like having fun. Uh, I like doing some of the, the good things in life, some of the naughty things in life. I'm not a big high society person. I don't really enjoy the limelight, the fame, and all that stuff, because that's not me. I don't really see myself as a big celebrity. But um, the basic thing is that, um, you know, I'm just like a, a kid in the biggest playground in the world, New York City and, and New Jersey, and I just have fun with it. In 1986, Lawrence Taylor turned New York into his own personal playground. He erected a monument of achievement, unmatched by any defensive player in NFL history. Yet two years ago in 1985, there were whispers that Taylor's remarkable resolve had lapsed. 1986 was a personal crusade for the Giants linebacker. I know Lawrence Taylor very well. I probably, as much as anyone, know what kind of strength of will that he has. He just absolutely has one of the strongest wills of any human being that I know. He told me before the season what he was going to do. So I really didn't make any prediction. I knew what he was going to do because he told me. No, but see, Bill, he's jumping out right now. Still show it to him. He'll jump out further. Then you'll get that one. I saw it. I saw what you told me. Parcells and Taylor are more than coach and player. Parcells understands Taylor the man. And that had a lot to do with unleashing the frenzy that makes up Taylor the all-pro. and the most dominating player that we've seen on defense. I've never seen anybody as big as he is, as fast as he, as he is, and as relentless as he is. Yeah, he, he's relentless. Uh, he has a motor that never goes off. He plays the game a thousand miles an hour, and he's really the most prolific football player that we have to face year in and year out. To put Taylor's performance in perspective, keep in mind that he is only 28 years old has been in the NFL just six seasons, yet his deeds are already celebrated as legendary. And this past season, Taylor added the ultimate team accomplishment to his collection of honors, a Super Bowl championship. In my career, I've won a couple things out of football and, and so far, most of my baby um, achieved this year for us being the MVP, Defense Player of the Year again, and um, winning the Super Bowl. Now there's only one thing left, and that's the Hall of Fame. I, I like to be there someday. That is only a matter of time. But for now, one more trophy goes on the Taylor mantelpiece. The one for being honored as the Gillette Company's 1986-87 NFL Most Valuable Player. John Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, is here where I've enjoyed many of my finest moments in the National Football League. Hi, I'm Lawrence Taylor, and I'm honored to receive the Gillette NFL Most Valuable Player Award for the 1986-87 season. Over the years, the name Gillette and Gillette Cavalcade has become synonymous with bringing audiences the best in sports from around the world. That's why I'm proud to accept this Gillette NFL Most Valuable Player Trophy along with an 18 karat gold Omega Constellation watch. Who will be the most valuable player next year? No one knows for sure, but one thing's for certain. I'll be watching, and I'm sure you'll be watching too.